Generic greetings, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In the previous episode, we managed to get our plumbing system all sorted. As you can see, we've got a shower and lavatory all plumbed in. If we go over to the, uh, where is it? Liquid pumping overlay, we can see water getting pumped from our reservoir there, natural reservoir, over into the shower and the toilet, which then outputs the uh, contaminated water into our septic tank on this side, which we are currently in the process of fixing so that we'll actually be able to purify the thing, which should be fantastic. We will also go to deconstruct and deconstruct this, but I want to stop and say buildings and say that bit there because I like, again, the fact that they've already thought about this for the options where you can deconstruct just wires, pipes, and not just one lump. It's for an alpha, there's so many things that they have got right. Although, to be fair, I've just um, complimented them and they've now removed the ladder, you know, and then now I can't do the top bits because. They're stupid. <laughs> oh, look, this is a really good alpha. And then, bang, they do something stupid like that. I take it all back. What a terrible thing. Anyway, it ain't finished. So, in the previous episode, as I mentioned, we got all of this stuff put in. And because of that, we're now going to be finishing off here with the uh, water purification. A lot of people have been asking about um, doing more stuff to this colony. I think this is the last episode for this colony, regardless of what happens. Whether or not we continue on uh, featuring this is really up to you yourself and things like that but uh, also it depends on like what the plan is like if we're just gonna do the same again no uh, but if we do continue on we'll be doing another colony I just want to make sure this water purification works and then after that we might even uh, go and start a new one but we'll see how it goes I do want to uh, wait until the game is a little bit further on before we start messing around with stuff there's, there's a couple of things that has the game has an issue with um, it's a bit glitchy, but, uh, you know, we'll see. I've already had uh, two crashes uh, in this series, although I've just essentially edited them out because, uh, well... It was halfway through, and boom, the game crashes. Actually, it was lagging out. Uh, there was water uh, in here. It was, like, just making the game stutter and stop, which was not good. But anyway, we're just removing these bits here, and then we'll actually cancel that bit because we don't need to bother with it. And then we will deconstruct that, and then deconstruct just buildings and that, and then that should be all sorted. So this is our water purifier, and that's good. What we need to do is connect that up to electricity as well as a... Um, another bit of water, which is going to be this. We are going to, say, dig and then max uh, in terms of the priority and then dig all of that out. We will then probably dig down... We'll probably dig out all this algae, actually, while we're on. Why not? There's a lot of fertilizer in here. Uh, but we'll sort that out. Let's go to max speed. So one of the research centers is idle, but it's just this big one. We don't really care too much about that. We do have another person that we can get. I don't really know what type. Let's have a quick look. We've got someone who is good at athletics, digging, and medicine. Someone who's creative and learning, good at cooking, though, biohazard. Uh, all of vitamin C can stop the stupid living from getting sick. I don't like that. Uh, we've also got someone who's good at cooking, digging, and tinkering. Night owl. Uh, do you their best to work when they ought to be sleeping? That's not too bad. A scientist might be good. Don't think we really want a runner, though. I think we'll go for you. But not now. Actually, no, we'll reject all. Um, won't hurt the feelings, but it'll be a while before the pod can print again. Now, she will say cancel. We just won't select anything. I'm going to wait until the end of the cycle. So those have been turned off. Uh, these are getting mined out. We will pump... Well, we'll need electricity first. Oh, once this is sorted, we'll go ahead and do that one. We have an issue here because look at all this. Look at all the CO2. It's all building up around here. Well, you'll be able to see if I do that. Look at all the CO2. There's loads of it. Wow, okay. That's an issue. Hmm. We might have to fix that. Don't know what the solution is. CO2 scrubbers, essentially. Well, that's what this thing was doing. Why it's gathering over there and not flowing down there is, is beyond me. What can we do about that? Oxygen. See, air deodorizer reduce the threat of disease by filtering contaminated oxygen out of the air. We've got this, which converts carbon dioxide into a small amount of oxygen. Electrolyzer, steady supply of oxygen using piped in water. Maybe it is just turn these back on. We could. Disable these, but it's mass, mass, uh, max gas pressure. Uh, we'll keep it on for now. So. We need to get some electricity first. Actually, no, I think water pumping first. So we'll have... 
ladder coming down here. That's important, but it's also important that I get a tile and bring it up like that. Because what I want to do is... Oh, can we not remove that? Yeah, we need to dig that up. Research complete. Gas is all sorted. So we now have all of the... Ba oh, not, not all the basic stuff. Close. We'll go for power regulation. Or do we want to go for that? I do want to go for pressure management, which is a mechanicalized airlock. Um, functions like a manual airlock and no power is available. So it's just a bit faster. A uh, liquid valve, a gas valve, you've got temperature modulation. I think we do need to go for temperature modulation just to cool down this area because, as you can see, it's a bit too warm to harvest on that one. The reason I'm making this go up and down is because if we have a problem with the water or we don't want all the water flowing in, that's the main thing. We want to keep this sealed off as much as possible. So there we go. I don't know if they're going to have the game. I don't. I don't know if they're going to have it so that, like, you if you have, you have say coal in next to water, like this, uh, like if we had mining coal around here, it can contaminate the water. I don't know how far they're going with it, but it would be nice to see. And uh, we now have gas permeable tile, which means, well, just that water, uh, the gas can permeate between all of the tiles. And I like to do that and place it around. Um, like this. Because what that means is, like, all of these share the same... Well, th things can flow, and it means if you've got, like, um, stuff uh, like this. See this, like, you've got carbon dioxide. It's it's always around the ground floor, but we want it to flow down. And we want it to flow out and down, which is why we put the permeable tile. That should hopefully fix that. Not entirely a great way of doing things, especially if you are... If you don't have ambient... If you don't have a lot of oxygen around the place. I mean, we're okay for that. There's oxygen everywhere. But if you just had a sealed unit, which is perfectly acceptable and also pref like preferable, really, later on in the game, um, you want to not use those. But I'm just doing this sort of easy mode. Water is going down there, so we do need to get that sorted. So let's just go to max speed. Wait until this is sorted here. We will... Look at that. There's also contaminated water there. Maybe if we pump that up as well and recycle it, but the problem with that is that we have to get there first, and that means digging through slime and um, whatever this stuff is, obsidian, which I'm guessing will take a while to dig out. Insufficient resources. I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's the microbe musher. We're not harvesting many... Oh, we're not harvesting as much mealworms or meal... What are they called? Mealwood. Which produces little worm things. Right. Is there another, having a bit of a kip? Cycle 19 report. Uh, positive calories, positive oxygen, everything's fine. That's good. Good, good, good. But, obviously, we are using a lot of resources. So, we have to be careful about that. So, prioritise this. At least doing all of this means that next time we start another thing, we know um, what to do and what not to do, which is a good thing. And there's only so much reading can take you, really. You just need to jump in and try it, really. So this is taking us right down into the water supply. That's fine. Let's go over to, uh, you can see there's all the plumbing stuff like gas vents and gas pumps. We don't really want to do that yet. Uh, we need to go to power electrical cable and run the electrical cable across and then down like so and then oh, I haven't got a power switch I wanted a power switch so I can turn this water purifier on or off although to be fair we could just do it manually by clicking on that and say disable but then we have to go over to it yeah yeah it'd be best with the power switch okay we can put that in later on that's fine uh, the This, by the way, the ladder doesn't interfere, as far as I'm aware, with... It doesn't interfere with the water, as far as I... By the look of it, it doesn't interfere anywhere. We'll dig these out as well. Mm, could just dig the entire top off, if I'm completely honest, but... Yeah, we'll see. So, prioritise that... Then prioritise all that, please. And that. And for some reason, got a bit there. Cancel. Alright. So there's your gas permeable membrane. So, 
gas can go through it. It says gas. I'm guessing... I'm guessing water can't, then. It would make sense not... Well, actually, it wouldn't. <laughs> um, would it? No, gas can go through, but water can't. The other way around wouldn't make much sense. Water can't, but gas can. Uh, right, where was it? It was in base. Blocks the flow of liquid without obstructing gas. Yeah. So what you can do is you can place like this uh, the gas permeable tile on the top. Yeah, which is important. At times it will be anywhere. Right, so there's that. Um, what we need to do then is... That's the water purifier. If we just check the plumbing... Hang on. Liquid pumping. So this is going to take... The, the, all of the liquid in here, the, the horrible water, put it into the water purifier, then output it, and which we'll then dump into here. Yep, that seems about right. So we'll say dig. Level 9, take that off there. That might then drop all of this down, which I have a feeling it will, but then that'll splush the water up. We'll see what happens. I think it will. I think it's uh, clever that way. But then that'll probably make the water glitch out a bit. We'll see how it goes. Oh no, no, it makes it hover. There we go. Oh, see that? They actually managed to walk over their own stuff there. Oh well. Right, so there's that put in. Um, obviously no oxygen around here, which is really bad. <laughs> but the water's still there. So we will have a... Um, a tile go up. Do we really want to do that? Have it like that and then go up and in? Well, we could do. And then a tile right across. Like that. And... Ideally, we do want to make this prop properly... Um, like this dug out and stuff. So let's, let's try it. We'll see if it works. This might break the game. And the reason it might break the game is because it really doesn't like you digging around with water and it sort of splashes the things around and the game sort of glitches out a bit. Also, we're pretty much working in hard vacuum. Uh, not hard vacuum. We're, we're working in an unbreathable environment, which is never good things for the people to uh, experience. Yep, they're all going <gasps> and having to run off. I I assume later on they're gonna be you're going to be able to unlock space suits and things like that and guns. We'll see. Uh, so we've generated more food than we used. Again, that's good. Same as oxygen. Actually, quite a lot of oxygen. So we might go ahead and think about changing it. Although it doesn't really matter. The problem... The, the thing is, what we're doing now is... I'm going to turn two of these off. What's happening now is that we are generating oxygen and it's just... It's going everywhere. Like, um, we're not storing it inside the base, which is probably something we want to do. Store it inside here rather than try to just feed all of this. That's why you have airlocks. But, you know, we can probably... Oh, suffocating. Sorry, people can get out now. But, you know what? It's... Mm. Yeah. What I'd have to do is I'd have to... Remove that gas permeable tile there, and then block off these these doors. And then it means that the base, all the stuff we are doing in the base, is just for the base. Like it's just all of all the oxygen we're generating in here is just staying in the base. Mm. There's different ways of doing it. Some of it's efficient. Some of it is more efficient than others. Um, that's unreachable, and that's because oh yeah, we haven't done that. Like that. There we go. That'll fix the problem. Oh, it's, it's annoying that that bit's there as well. Uh, I think you can jump over that. I think they can jump over that. We'll see in a second. This is a big... This is a lot of... This is a big tank of water. It's really not necessary now that I think of it. Because <laughs> we're going to pump it into there to then pump it into there to then pump it up. <laughs> we should probably change it so we'll pump all of this into this one and then pump it up. But that's this is why we're not going to be continuing on this uh, on this one. This is just a bit of an experiment. So because of that, you know what? Let's not finish off that bit there. Let's just finish off what the experiment was, which is um, go over to... 
plumbing, liquid vent, um, output, and then a pump. Oh god, we're going to have to pump it all the way around. That's going to be a nightmare. There we go. Liquid pipe along. Up. Hang on. That's, that's glitched out. Cancel those. Cancel that, in fact. Like that. Alright. Then finally, power. Wire. Like that. And then finally connect those up because I didn't bother. <laughs> Prioritise. Max. So. That should technically make purified water from all of that in there. Well, it says no wire connected. That's because it isn't connected. Now it should be connected. And should we see if it works? Once that wire is in, it should work. Oh, that's on. Right, that's pumping. This is good. Hmm. Awaiting filtration medium. Yeah. It just needs the material to get there, you see. Which is loads of sand. We've got sand everywhere, I think. There it is. It's working. That is now taking contaminated water, purifying it, and as you can see, outputting it to then hopefully dump in here. Yeah, there it is. It's dripping water in. How much is going through there? A decent amount anywhere. I'm happy about that. So we essentially got a full water, uh, water recycle system. We are using the water in here. Natural spring water. <laughs> bringing it up. Having a shower. Using it to flush the lav. And all that waste is then getting taken into our purpose-built sewage system and storage tank. We are then not just storing it and leaving it there. We are then processing it and bringing it back into fresh water. Now, I don't know what the percentage of loss is. I don't know whether it's like a 50% loss or even if it is loss. It might be lossless. We might be just getting 100% back. And if that's the case, then... We can almost stay indefinitely. The only problem is, like, the resources that we... Like, things like algae and, um... Well, it's it's food and oxygen. So, it will be... I think there is a point where you just can't go any further. That's good, though. I'm glad that that's sorted. That is very good. What we could do, then, is connect that liquid pump up to this one and then move the water in. But that's going to require, you know, more... More work, which I don't think we're going to do. But at least that works, and I don't know how long it takes. But there's our research complete, which is good. So, power regulation. What we have now is utilities. Hydro fan dis disperses a small amount of heat, which you can see these generate a lot of heat. Uh, we'll put a hydro fan there. Sorted. And that should hopefully fix this issue. Because it's just a big ass fan. Awaiting material delivery. Water. Oh, you put some water in it. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And I'm guessing that... Uh, work pending, yes. So it will... Oh no, you need someone to operate it, do you? Oh, look at that. See all the water getting... Uh, all the air getting uh, blown about. <laughs> but it is a lot colder in it. Uh, I say a lot colder. It's not as hot. Um, which is useful. So what other stuff haven't we used? Uh, we haven't used gas vents or filters or any of the valves and stuff, but they are in there. Uh, the gas stuff works pretty much identically to the liquid pipe. It's just for gas instead. We haven't used the bio distiller, which turns slime into algae. We do have slime. It's um, in there. You can see there's some slime there and some clay and stuff. We also haven't uh, placed a medical bed or hand sanitizer in because we haven't had to. We haven't done any combat, which you can meet like these guys. And have a bit of a fight with them. I've never personally done it, but I'm aware that is the case. Uh, we've done the research. We haven't placed many of the... A lot of the things in here. We have got some stress, actually, so we should really resolve that. And it is auto. There you go. 
In terms of decor, we are not fantastic. It's not fantastic for decor. Look, overall decor is in here. It's a bit crap. But uh, you know, you only really go there to have a shower in the toilet, and then you're coming out to work in other places as well. So it's not too bad actually. And the stress we've managed to uh, keep an eye on. In terms of refinement, we've done some of that. Hydro fan, we've just sort of dealt with uh, more stuff. Food, we haven't gone with a cooking station, which you take two mush bars and turn them into a deep fried one. That's all you can really do. Uh, refrigerator as well, which is decreases the shelf, uh, inc oh, increases the shelf life of food. I was going to say, I can't decrease it. That's that's the opposite. Of that's that's just a, a crap refrigerator. Um, and we've got a deodorizer, which we haven't placed as well. So we've placed most of the stuff in. Our insulated tile as well. It reduces heat transfer between the walls. A mesh tile does not struck the floor of liquid or gas. Strange that that is after uh, before the gas permeable membrane. Up tile. Like the research is later on. So where is it actually? It'll be in insulation maybe? No, it's there. It's in Medbay. It's strange that it's there. I would have thought it would have been the other way around. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> that fan is... that. I reckon the... The foley for that, the person recording it or whatever, is, ju is literally a guy standing next to a fan with a... Stand next to a desk fan, three-bladed desk fan, with a microphone. Why would it not be? <laughs> you're not going to customise that. You're not going to worry about the sound too much, are you? Hmm, should we make it all... Should we, should we spend six months uh, working on a artificial sound? Nah, just, just record a fan, mate. All right, then. Anyway, so we've got Casper as a runner, uh, Virgil Scientist, and Bert. We're going to go with Bert because the name. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have got him tonight as well. Because now he's just going to fall asleep. Not that it matters, but we're going to place that there as well. Okay, so, let's just see our report, previous report, cycle 22, generate more oxygen, good calories, and overall, positive stuff here. So, I think that's been a successful colony, to be quite honest with you. What would we do if we continue this on? Well, I'd probably... Sort these water two th like water things out. I would then think about expanding. Um, we need to think about uh, long-term power generation because at the moment we just have pretty much one or two people occupied solely running, and we don't really want that. Um, also, having that on is just manual. It's just a nightmare. Like why you would want to do that, I don't know. Um, probably do that. What I mentioned, yeah, just expand it a bit more e and have a look. In like these areas here where you got slime and start processing it. But there's some hydrogen there. Long term effects for well, long term generation of power would be a, f a focus now. Probably take hydrogen or maybe coal because there is some coal around the place. But I think we'd go for hydrogen more than anything else. But it's still pumping that look and it's uh, filling that up quite nicely. I think all of the fluid simulation and the air simulation makes this really interesting for me. Like, if it was just another RimWorld 2D side-on instead of top-down, I, I, yeah, I would just go, yeah, fine, I've seen this before. But, um, I love the fluid simulation. I love, the pi like, having to have these pipe networks. I, I, I just, fantastic. Great. Absolutely great. But, we are going to leave it there. This has been a development build. Uh, so, as I said, throughout this entire series, I've mentioned it several times, but I'll say it again before we end here, that, um, you know, obviously it is in development. There's, there's been bugs and stuff like that. As I said, I've experienced several of them, and there's been a couple of issues. Ain't finished. Loads more stuff to be added. Things like that. Hopefully, we will see this get... Um updated thick and fast and I will be featuring more of it. You can pretty much guarantee that because this is amazing. <laughs> I'm just uh, waiting to see what happens with all of the airflow. Oh god, I wouldn't want to work in there. That's uh, not very nice. There you go. That is That has been a bit of a mini-series on uh, Oxygen Not Included. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.